everybody. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I just finished building my PC. Can't you believe that? But I didn't show a video of me building it, so I will show you the build right here. And this is my PC build right here, and this is my main computer. Very funny setup. So uh, I can, if I want to switch to my main computer, uh, I can do this. And I can switch to DVID, uh, which is my main computer. I'm doing some uh, virtual machine stuff. And then uh, I can. So let's just focus on our PC build. So I'm going to go back to VGA, which my PC build is connected to. And this is the keyboard and mouse for my build. And this is the keyboard and mouse for my normal desktop, which I mostly use. And I just built my PC. And also, you want to reboot? So, I'll show you this splash screen of this computer. Very colorful splash screen. B75 Pro 3. So, this one uh, has UEFI boot enabled. And this one boots into an SSD pretty quick. So it's me as a baby right there. I've got that from one of my hard drives. So it boots pretty instantly quick. And also, I'll show you the specs of this computer. Just wait for it. So we'll see the properties and specs of this. So I did like some OEM hack. So, uh,. I am the manufacturer because I built it, and also uh, I call my computer the Viper XX, and also uh, the I've got the Intel Core i5 3550 right here at 3.3 gigahertz. It's pretty fast, 3.3 gigahertz. Also, keep in mind that I didn't use KMS activation in this because. I know KMS activation is termed illegal for home use. I used to do a lot of KMS, but I don't do that anymore. So yeah, and I've got 16 gigabytes of RAM right here, of course, because I have to save up extra money to upgrade this thing to 32, which is the maximum. And also, it's 64-bit operating system. And, and yeah, so to prove that the activation is not KMS on this computer, I could show you the activation. So here's activation, Windows is activated with a digital entitlement, I mean a digital license. Uh, and so I'll show you all the specs, what this computer's this is the, so it's got the uh, power supply, the good power supply, and uh, this is, and this is a bill from eBay. I bought this, I bought all my parts from eBay because, because buying new is just too expensive, unfortunately, so I always buy new from eBay. Be thrifty if you don't have enough money, new or refurbished. But they said the motherboard was refurbished, but it is. The motherboard was so dusty, and uh, it had and it has some back pins, but that doesn't stop me uh, from using this computer. So we're gonna do the panel, and that's a power button and a restart button right there. I wired up everything, so here is the Samsung PM8. gigs is like too small for a PC. I got the 500 gigabyte hard drive and the 320 gigabyte hard drive here. And also of course the AMD Radeon card. And also the Wi-Fi card which is not necessary because I'm connected through uh, Ethernet LAN because uh yeah so uh they said optional 120 millimeter fans you put right there but too expensive and it's my 80 millimeter uh 
system fan, and this is my CPU fan, which also came with the motherboard, which is kind of cool, and also 16 gigabytes of RAM, dual channel, DDR3, uh, 1600, and 1333 megahertz RAM speed. Because it supports 1333 and 1600, and it's just a graphic card connector. And uh, this is the IDE, the Moex, I mean. Yeah, the Moex connector for this fan. This fan uses the Moex. And also, some uh, extra SATA power is laying around. Oh, I mean, this is Moex. So, uh, I've got. So I've got SATA, blue SATA right there, and also just the floppy cable, which is not necessary. Because I don't have an old motherboard, but this motherboard uh, is around the year 2012, but it's still pretty good. So this is the ASRock B75 Pro 3, and it also supports UEFI, which is cool, and also... Of course, the A Power AK Series 680 watt power supply. This thing's 680 watts, which is pretty nice. The 680 watt power supply, which can power a lot of good stuff. So this is my uh, 24 pin uh, motherboard connector, and I've got my 8 pin CPU connector up there. Wi-Fi card again. That's all the features of this computer. So, so it also supports a uh, ATI Crossfire, which is pretty cool. But, but I don't really use Crossfire because I don't have two graphics cards. That's why no Crossfire, unfortunately. And we'll just have this on for somewhere. Uh oh. My lights are falling on me. This thing keeps getting loose. So, it's got all this stuff on here. Windows 10. Of course. So, I used the 500 gigabyte hard drive and the 320 gigabyte hard drive for storage. And this is a really nice computer right here. USB 3, of course, and USB 2. So uh, I use uh, Nova Bench. I haven't downloaded uh, the software yet. So uh, I will download the software since the the uh, benchmarking software to see how this computer does because I benchmarked this computer for the first time. <laughs> software quick come on so this uh computer is not too shabby but yeah kind of it's kind of slow at the first boot because uh when i try to install windows on here this thing's oh my goodness so slow so let's start our benchmarking test so let's see how this thing does on our benchmarking test so we're running uh, our uh, CPU uh, benchmarking tests currently, and uh, I think we're gonna run our graphics card test soon. And this is the AMD Radeon R7250, and of course, 16 gigabytes DDR3. Wait, did I overclock this thing because it's 3.5 gigahertz? That's pretty weird. And I didn't even overclock this thing. Since I don't even know how to overclock it, I don't know if my motherboard actually supports overclocking. So, so uh, we're running the read and write speed test about a uh, hard drive and the SSD. So this is the GPU test finally. Let's see how the AMD car does.
our score is pretty good, 1043. And yeah. So I've got some stuff in the recycle bin. And this is Yeah, and this is like the uh, budget PC build because this thing is like under $150 for the part. Uh, because CPU, be because uh, the CPU, RAM, and stuff like that, and of course the hard drives I got uh, from home, which I already have, but the SSD uh, I bought from eBay, since SSD are just so expensive because they just help my computer move faster. red subscribe button and turn on the bell for full steam notifications and also and also bye